speaking of, of, of Batman here, so uh, uh, this has been a big one, right? This is this is a big thing. A lot of people out there are dying, and I mean dying, not literally, figuratively, obviously, to know more about what the fuck is going on with Ben Affleck and Batman. This is this is the will they, won't they of the ages. This is the shit that keeps me awake at night, biting my fingernails, nubbing or gnawing at the fleshy nubs for fingertips, wondering will he, won't he, will he don the cape and cowl once again, or will it go to somebody else? And it's just, you know what, Warner's knows people want to know about this shit. They didn't talk about it at all at Comic-Con. They didn't say a damn word about Batman at all at Comic-Con because they wanted to focus obviously on Shazam and Wonder Woman. And I get it. I understand it but it's fucking batman we all want to know what's going on with the batman but of course here we have a little bit of information but it's not what you think not what you think here matt reeves the director of the batman movie coming up says his batman movie won't be based on frank miller's year one now uh this obviously uh is is some news because we did talk about this the other day where it was rumored that this would be year one which essentially kind of was like batman begins right and uh, a lot of people are talking about that Now, it says here, last year, Matt Reeves was hired to write and direct the Batman for Warner Brothers, but the project hasn't shown much forward momentum in public. Recent rumors suggest that Reeves could start fresh with a new Batman, replacing Ben Affleck with a younger performer. It's also been suggested that Reeves will base his script upon Batman Year One, the classic story by Frank Miller. Uh, However, Reeves directly refuted that rumor when he addressed the press at the Television Critics Association. Oh, so 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 the press at the TCA... They're able, to, they're able to get information out of, out, of, out of Matt Reeves. They're actually able to get some knowledge, right? They're actually, they're actually able to get some information when the rest of the movie-going <laughs> news can't, can't do shit, right? I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. It's like, come on, guys. Do your, do your damn jobs. Uh, via Slash Film, Reeves says, We're not doing any particular comic. Year one is, many the com- is one of the many comics that I love. We are definitely not doing year one. It's just exciting to be focused on a very uh, on specifically a tale that is defining for him and very personal to him. Obviously, we're not doing an origin tale or anything like that. We're doing a story that is definitively Batman through uh, or though and trying to tell a story that is emotional and yet is really about him being the world's greatest detective and all the things that for me since I was a kid made me love Batman. Now, I've got to say I love the fact here that uh, that he wants to make the uh that he really wants to make uh, a Batman movie that is very, very personal to him, right? That he that he very much wants to do that. And, I, and I'm totally on board with that one. Because, uh, you know, Matt Reeves is a fantastic director. Uh, the last couple of Planet of the Apes movies were great. Let Me In was great. Cloverfield was great. This dude knows how to tell a solid story. So I'm really interested to see what's going to happen next year. Now, he says here, I've talked about making it uh, a very point of view and noir-driven definitive Batman story. Okay, so just focus on that one here. It's a very, it's a very point of view, noir, definitive Batman story in which he is investigating a particular case that takes us out of the world of Gotham. I went on a deep dive again, revisiting all my favorite comics, those all informed by osmosis. Then there's no continuation of the Nolan films. It's very much trying to find a way to do this as something that for me is going to be definitively Batman new and cool. Now, that's the kind of weird thing. So he talks about a noir-driven, definitive Batman story, but then goes on to say that he wants to, uh, he says, Sister, there's no continuation of the Nolan films. Why would he do that? Now, isn't that a weird, isn't that a bit of a weird statement? Like, why is it that he would sit there and say, there's no continuation of the Nolan films? That was a contained story. We know that was a contained story. It ended six years ago. Like, we know that. Now, is this because he's trying to like sit there and say, like he's saying it's definitely not in the Nolan universe, but is that a way as, as moving it around the uh, the DCEU? I mean, that's the kind of thing, right? Uh, he goes on to say here that the, the script for the Batman may have the first draft finished within a few weeks, which may allow the project to begin production early next year. Reeves declined to say definitively whether Affleck would remain involved or if the actor is planning to exit the DC extended universe. God damn it. Stop that. I would hope that Affleck is on board, but with that, with that Monopoly movie, we never know. We don't know when it's going to take place. I mean, they're going to probably fast track the movie. Uh, so Affleck do it starring as Batman in one year and then directing a movie. That's a lot of work for him, man. Uh, he says here, uh, there are ways in which it all connects to DC, to the DC universe as well, says Reeves. We're one piece of many pieces. So I don't want to comment on that, except to say I'm focused specifically on this aspect of the DC world. Now, isn't that a little bit weird? What does that mean? 
what does any of this mean anymore? Right? Like, what does any of this actually mean? I have no fucking idea, guys. I got no idea. I wish I did. I wish I had a solid understanding of what they're talking about here so I could, I could break it down for you in a way that makes sense. But here's basically what I'm thinking. This kind of this to me feels like it's going to be a definitive noir driven Batman story that's going to be in the same vein as Todd Phillips Joker film. Right? I don't think this is going to be tied to the DCEU anymore. I think this is tied to the greater DC universe, but not what we've already seen them build over the course of the past 6 years or sorry, 5 years. And I don't know if Affleck's going to be involved. I would very much love to see Affleck come in to finish up his his trilogy to get his own standalone movie to be the Batman, to be the world's greatest detective. And I think I think with what Snyder established in Batman v Superman, the extended cut uh, was great. And I'd love to see more. I'd love to see a lot more from it. But unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get that. I don't think we're going to get uh, I just don't think it's going to happen anymore, man. I'm losing. I'm losing my hope. I'm losing. I'm losing all my hope. And I don't like to lose my hope. I like that. I like to be hopeful, you know, which <laughs> especially when talking about the goddamn DCEU, which is. I feel every day more news comes out about that. It uh, it just it just it just makes you want to cry a little bit. You're like, ah, what are you doing? You don't know what you don't know what's going on. But uh, I think they're just keeping everyone keeping everyone waiting, keeping everyone waiting to know what the hell's going to happen, so then uh, they can surprise us or or let us down easy. If you enjoyed this video, please consider becoming a patron today for just a dollar per month over at Patreon.com/MundaneMatt.